What's going on YouTube? Talk Taiku today. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the release of two smartphones from Sony. So in CES 2013, we saw the release of two Sony flagship phones, the Xperia Z and the Xperia ZL. Now the main question is really what is the difference? Now that they basically have the same internals, the same quad-core Qualcomm 1.5 GHz processor, as well as the same HD 1080p display. The main difference really is the design from the outside. The Xperia ZL is actually larger and has a thickness of 9.8mm, slightly heavier at 151 grams, compared to the Xperia Z which is actually 146 grams at 7.9mm, putting that in comparison with the iPhone 5 at only 7.6mm at 112 grams. The Xperia Z is also available in three colors, available in white, black and lilac in comparison to the Xperia ZL which is only available in black and white. One of the main things about the Xperia Z and the Xperia ZL is the true 5 inch retina display. With a resolution of 1920 by 1080 that puts it at a 1080p display similar to a full HD TV. With majority of smartphones, the camera is one of the most essential most important features of the smartphone. Both Xperia models now feature a 13.1 megapixel camera with autofocus and optics. They both have CMOS sensors, in fact, uh, Exmor RS sensors, mobile sensors from Sony. They all have autofocus. The Xperia Z also features a front facing camera, a 2.2 megapixels camera with 1080p front facing video capabilities. In terms of the processor, they both feature a 1.5 GHz Qualcomm quad core processor. Now that is essential especially for the process of using LTE which will be available on carriers such as Sprint and Verizon AT&T if the device were to come to the US. Running Jelly Bean 4.1, it comes with 2GB of RAM as well as 16GB of internal media space. It is also ex expandable up to 32GB of micro SD as an option. Finally, I look forward to seeing these two devices personally in hand. I wasn't unfortunately able to go to CES this year, hopefully in the coming years. However, I do look forward. I'm not sure exactly when Sony will be planning on releasing the devices. However, there is word on the street that it's going to come soon. So that's from Top Tech. If you guys are interested in more videos, don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll catch you later.